are many treatment options for it. Uh, we always try to avoid surgery if we can, and so we do non-surgical methods, what we call conservative measures. And this may consist of medications, such as a pain medication, something quite uh, minor like Tylenol or Tylenol-3. It may be an anti-inflammatory medication along with that, uh, such as ibuprofen, and there may also be a muscle relaxant to relieve some of the muscle spasm in the back of the neck, uh, such as baclofen or flexoril or any of the other muscle relaxants. Uh, if that fails, one goes on to the second uh, level, the second tier of treatments uh, that may consist of physical therapy uh, to the neck, consisting of heat, massage, ultrasound to the back of the neck in an effort to relieve some of the muscle spasm which causes the pain in the neck. Uh, in addition to that, uh, one may give a series of cortisone injections to the back of the neck called epidural blocks, a combination of cortisone and local anesthetic injected by anesthesiologists to the back of the neck in an effort to try to break the pain cycle of pain. Uh, if those don't work and the patients still have an incapacitating, overwhelming amount of pain in the neck and the arms, uh, then one does re resort to surgery very often.